Hi everyone, this is Tom Pickett here. I wanted to address an issue that I read about on a few forums the other day about the Optolon filters not fitting securely inside the, the camera body and that they were loose. To me this must be a misconception because I haven't had or faced this problem as of yet. Anyway, I thought I would do a little demonstration here to show you guys just how these fit inside the camera body. Let me try to... Uh, while this thing is recording, it doesn't give you an option to flip the camera over, so i got to stop the video and then start it over again. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I am back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate these three filters here and I'm going to place them inside the camera body to show you just how they fit inside the camera. Anyway, let's take the cover off here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt the camera back to where you can get a nice view. And I'm going to start off with the L Pro filter. And as you can see, the filter is flat on the top and the bottom so that means that filter fits in just like that right there and as you'll notice as I place the filter in there the filter needs to be pushed into the camera to where it is seated and it snaps when you push it in so it gets seated inside the camera body now what I want to do is want to do another uh, demonstration. I'm going to tip this thing over and shake it. It doesn't seem to be coming loose inside the camera body or it doesn't appear that it's loose in there. Now there's a little noise that you can hear while I'm shaking this, but that is my laser finder. It's got a few little loose screws and stuff on it, but it makes a little bit of a noise. Anyway, as to show you, that filter is pretty snug in there. It's not coming out. Okay, and the only way I have found to get these filters out once they've been placed in there is to get you a flathead screwdriver and just place it right underneath between the filter and see there it comes, it comes right out. Now, let's do another filter. Maybe it's a fluke, right? Maybe that one filter is the only one that fits nice. So let's try the UHC filter. And as you can see, it's designed about the same way. We're going to put the filter inside the holder. And as you notice, I've got to press it and I guess you heard it snap to where it will fit in there you know nice and snug. Now I'll do the same thing that filter is not coming out of there it is nice and snug. One thing that's really nice about that is when I'm outside uh, changing filters out I don't have to worry that the filter is going to fall out onto the ground into the grass creating a a problem for me trying to find the filter in the dark. Okay, let me try the next filter. Maybe best two out of three, right? <laughs> now here's the H alpha filter. Let me get it here and place it inside the camera body. And as you can see, it's about the same way. You have to press it down inside the camera body so it can get properly seated. Now, I'm going to do the same test. That filter is not coming out of that camera body. And what I can do is I can try to shaking it, moving it, it ain't coming out of there. It fits nice and snug. So there must be a misconception of people having problems with these filters not fitting nice and tight inside the camera 
I don't seem to be having that problem. Now, there's another thing that I found on these filters. If you are having problems with them not fitting snug, there is a slot that's built into each one of these filters. As you can see, it's right here on the, on the side. And all you have to do is take a flathead screwdriver and just spread that open just a little bit. Not too much, but just enough to make it to fit tight inside the camera body. But, as you guys know, I did not have to do anything to these filters when I first got them. They automatically fit inside the camera body. Anyway, give me a few minutes and I will be back because I have to switch the camera over to where you can see me. Anyway, everybody, I hope this little demonstration has helped some of y'all. These filters fit nice and tight inside the camera body, and I'm not having any problems with the filters falling out or them being loose. So, uh, seems that I have answered that question for myself, and these filters seem to work really well, and... I don't believe I'm going to have to worry about them falling out in the dark outside while I'm changing filters and running to get a flashlight to see if I can find the filter laying in the wet grass. So I just don't seem to be having that problem. Anyway, you guys have a good day and clear skies. I hope this has helped all of you.